morning everybody it's a chilly morning here in indiana leaving here gordon's campground as you can see the lake down there and the uh, sun's starting to rise haven't got the sun peeking up yet but i'm getting ready to leave out 7 30 in the, 7 15 in the morning i have a 70 mile ride ahead of me gotta get moving one hour into my ride and I've got almost a thousand miles, actually just over 900 miles, uh, uh, yeah, miles, 900 feet of elevation rise. Been a lot of climbing this morning. I think I'm at the highest point of the day. Uh, that doesn't show the uh, hills that I've really come down on, but you can see the beautiful farm fields. You got a lot of rolling hills for the next uh, 10 miles, and then I start downhill. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, just wanted to uh, share a little bit of my first break. Uh, getting ready to head out after I down some water. Well, I had my first challenge, real challenge of the day. Well, the hills the early morning was a challenge, but this is a different challenge. That's actually uphill. I just had to climb the, that hill. Um, it looks, it doesn't look as steep in, in the video, I'm sure, but, uh, uh, this is loose gravel. I'm not sure how far it goes. I got a little more to go for sure. I got a, uh, audience here wanting to be in the video, I guess. Anyway, uh, might be slow going here for a little while. I'm not sure how far, but, uh, slag road is there, or, uh, Loose gravel road is not really the place to be, especially with road tires. Everybody, I made it to Ohio. I'm in Mount Pillar, Ohio. I'm at a place called Rose Recreation. It's a real nice uh, little uh, uh, diner here. Um, and enjoying lunch. So I'm taking a break. I'm halfway through my day. I've actually, I think I got 36 or 37 miles of my, four, of my 70 miles. And so uh, taking a break and having lunch. This is my lunch for the day. Got a double cheeseburger and curly fries and a Coke. And to give you an idea, this is Rose Recreation. Great place to stop for, for a lunch. Hey everyone, continuing my ride. I left Mount Pilliard and rode about four miles and it put me on the Wabash Cannonball Trail. Uh, this trail is part of the Buckeye Trail. It is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I would call it crushed stone, but there are potholes and uh, a lot of times it's just grass. Uh, but it is a, a pretty decently maintained trail as far as the, the width of it. It's just very rough on uh, uh, trying to ride it with road tires. Uh, so I slowed down to about uh, eight miles an hour on this, um, which is going to mean I my 25 miles left to go is going to take me, what, just over three hours? Uh, if I stay on the, if I'm, if it leaves me on the trail, which I think I'm on the trail most of that. So I'm continuing on. It's a beautiful day. Uh, the one thing nice about being on the trail is I got rid of the headwind. Um, I didn't have a headwind this morning. Uh, it picked up slightly before lunch, uh, but it still was not bad. But then I probably had a six to eight mile an hour headwind uh, coming out of Mount Pilliard after lunch. So even though the trail is uh, pretty rough riding on the bottom, um, it is, uh, I don't have a headwind, so that's a plus. Uh, so we'll keep on the trail for a while. It's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm glad you could join me. Hey everybody, I made it to camp, as you can tell. It's still sunny out with that ray of sunshine coming down there. I'm here at uh, Sunny's campground. They have 800 campsites here in this campsite, at this campgrounds all around me. Uh, that's okay. I'm just staying for one night. Um, I did uh, 72 miles today. Um, I've got a 67 mile day scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that uh, when I go to, to lunch, but uh, it should be close to a 67 tomorrow. So making my way back home. Just wanted to uh, check in for the evening. It was a slow day. I had a headwind all afternoon after lunch, uh, in addition to riding on the the um, uh, cannonball, um, the Wabash Cannonball Trail, 
Um, it was a nice ride, except it was really rocky, really bumpy. Uh, I ended up uh, bailing off of that and actually getting on, on a major uh, road uh, for six miles in order to, to not have to do that complete trail. Would have been better if I had had my, my um, um, hybrid bike, but with the road bike with road tires, uh, not too good. I did uh, swing by a, a Walmart, picked up a spare inner tube. So I do have a spare inner tube now. Uh, you know, um, yesterday I had a flat tire. I didn't have a second spare. So now I have a spare in case I uh, have another tire blowout on my way home. Good night and uh, thanks for joining me.